hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video this time around as you know and you've probably seen by now i am doing my yearly new year in you know 2023 the start of my year videos and i've already done a reset vlog and now i'm going to be showing a reset video a yearly personal development reset video and now i'm going to show you my vision boards for 2023 so i'm really excited for you guys to see these i'm sitting in my office right now hopefully there isn't that much of an echo because i'm using a lavalier if there is i'm so sorry about that sis i'm so sorry i wanted but to share the two vision boards that i did for myself mm -hmm. this year i did a really aesthetically pleasing one and i also did one that is more practical right I think both of them really are practical but I like to have my vision boards look good as well so I'm going to share with you what each picture means from each vision board and I've got them on my phone as a uh, mobile wallpaper as you can see maybe here here you go okay but i also have them on as a desktop wallpaper as well so it's great because i can be able to see the vision board every time i uh, log into my laptop or every time i light up my phone in some way some somehow whatever it is um, i did my digital vision boards via canva so everything i found on canva i have canva pro so essentially it's got everything from my own images but also to uh, standard stock images so i found everything i needed without having to go on to google or anything like that to find the kind of pictures that i needed just go so, into so what i'm going to do is uh, put up the first vision board behind me so you're going to see it and then I'll put myself in the corner of the screen so that you can see what I am looking at but also at the same time you'll see me but I'll be looking at my laptop screen which is right here as you can see um, so going into my goals and intentions folder for 2023 the new year vision boards ah, let's see so the first one which one shall i show you first let's start with no not that one <laughs> there's only two um and the first one that you are currently seeing right now has some of my favorite things but i also did say that i do want my vision boards to look very aesthetically pleasing especially to my eye i do not like very bright and bold colors i think you guys already know this about me i'm not a big fan of these big bold colors i really like neutrals if not black white then the neutered muted down colors and that reflects quite a lot in my vision boards for 2023 um, so looking at the vision board what you can see is that there is a standard nudie kind of color as as well as a lot of you know bright colors especially with the one with the picnic spread and the charcuterie boards and things like that but starting from the top left you can see bucket lists on top of a map of the world that one for me is essentially travel i do want to travel a little bit more this year than i did um, last year i do already have travel plans towards the later part of the year with my partner and international travel so that would be really exciting but also just to see um, my country travel a little bit more within the country more than I have in the last two or three years um, I've kind of stayed put because of COVID but I put that there to just remind me that it's something that I do want to do um, 
the picture below that is a picture of tea if you look at it it's a picture of tea with a candle because um, for me that is just a reminder of wellness and meditation the reason why that one is there is a reminder of wellness meditation and quiet time um, for me i love tea and i think you guys know this already it's not rocket science but tea and a good safe sanctuary environment with candles going at the same time is always a big thing of mine and i want to um i put that one there to just keep the central focus this year in 2023 at uh, mindfulness and also uh, being aware of myself my surroundings all the time but feeling a sense of comfort and for me tea is like comfort in a in a mug it's like a hug in a mug um below that you've got glasses eyeglasses and a laptop and a pencil there and what have you this is my productivity shot so essentially it is of course aesthetic in in and of itself but for me it just reminds me to centrally keep coming back to pushing myself and working hard because it's what i know and what i know how to do best so and then next to bucket list in between bucket list and the other travel picture with the um, fuji film camera which i have in between that is of course a healthy bowl of granola a breakfast bowl which is something that i advocate a lot healthy eating so when i look at that i remember to come back to eating healthily i remember to also enjoy my food because i really enjoy breakfast i'm a breakfast girl even though i don't have breakfast at breakfast time normally which is between 10 10 o'clock nine o'clock i don't i typically have my breakfast after 11 because i am intermittent fasting so um just to see that and it's got some of my favorite breakfast items which is like your granola muesli banana which is one of my favorite fruits if not my favorite and then watermelon and then just my favorite essentials for breakfast but that just reminds me to um, remember to come back and eat clean as well so the picture next to it on the right is another travel photo for all intensive purposes i've already discussed that below the granola and the breakfast bowl is a yoga stretch or a yoga pose um, for me i do want to move my body a lot more this year i don't want to move i'm not specifically saying gym wise i do want to incorporate yoga and pilates sessions into my movement active part of my goals and intentions for 2023 um gym i just don't feel like i'm mentally ready or mentally in a spot where i want to be so that i can attend um gym but i do however want to keep my body flexible i want to move my body at least two three times a week and um a great way to do that while toning my body as well is to get into yoga and pilates so i'm currently working on that right next to that on the right hand side where vision 2023 is it's just an aesthetic picture of um greens um below that again it's a camera picture travel for this for this one in particular it's just to remember to take time out for myself to take some time to relax um, you'll see when you see the next vision board it'll be much more precise as to what my visions for 2023 are and and beyond but this one is the more aesthetically pleasing for me and um, that little image at the bottom is also just a reminder to just take time out and relax you know put flip on your sandals put on your glasses take your camera with you and save them memories and just take it all in and not get lost in the huffle kafuffle and humdrum of you know normal everyday work life school life study life but to also just to remember to take some slow time and time out um the next one is just a picture of nature like grass in nature which for me just essentially says that also take time away if you can um but that's more for the aesthetic purposes than it is for anything else on the far right is a picture of a journal essentially for me journaling is a very important part of my daily routine i journal each and every single day i look at my planner every single day um, and i use my journals for different reasons i have a journal where i write out 
um, the five things I'm grateful for at the end of each day and the five things I'm grateful for at the beginning of each day. And then I have a journal where I just write out thoughts and feelings and I try to get out everything that I'm feeling on the inside out on paper. I absolutely love that. And I find that to be very, very extremely important. So um, that's why the journal is there to remind me to always come back to journaling, always come back to writing um, because I, I find a lot of pleasure when I see my pen dance on paper and, and when more especially when I'm getting my emotions and feelings out, I think it's even more, more, more beautiful for me. That's why that picture is there. And then of course, picnicking, shock, tutory boards, bread, cheese, and all the nice things of life. Uh, this for me also is just a reminder of enjoy life, yes, but also spend time with those you love. And one of the most important things that I love to do when spending time with the ones I love is to make them charcuterie boards, is to uh, do picnics and all of that. This is not new to you guys. If you've been following me for a while, you know absolutely that that's that's what i do and it's what i do best and then at the corner there of course you see baby girl be reading a book chat um reading and taking time out but more especially reading for me is one of uh, uh the other really important things that i want to hone in on and focus in on for my health and my um mental health and also just you know just as an escape as well so I really love this one, but I would I would like to say this one is my more aesthetically pleasing one. The one I am going to switch to now is the one that makes more sense in terms of my, um, excuse me, in terms of what I want for myself this year. So my words for the year, this is the second vision board that I did and this is the one that is currently on my desktop profile right now. So this vision board is, um, it's got a little bit of writing on it and I'll read to you what that says, but also it's more practical to me in terms of what I want to achieve this year for myself. As you can see, there are similar pictures in this vision board like they are in the first one, but I just loved both of them so much that I just couldn't decide which one I want to keep and which one I don't want to keep. Um, so with this vision board, my words of the year are transformation and renewal. Uh, renewal basically because I'm starting a new, I went through a really difficult um, early 2022. The first quarter of 2022 for me was really, really difficult. So um, renewal comes in as me healing and growing and coming more into myself and renewing into something and uh, into someone, something better, blossoming. And transformation I feel like this is the year that my life will be transformed in that I'm not only following my passions, I'm also following, I'm going to be starting a new career this year. <sighs> Hopefully everything goes well with that. I'm going to be starting a new career this year and I'm um, seeing transformation in the content that I produce, in the work that I produce, especially also transformation as being a digital creator as well. So it's really, really important for me. And that's why transformation and renewal are my two words for January, uh, for January, <laughs> are my two words, transformation and renewal are my two words for 2023. So on the top left you've got baby girl in a pose right baby girl is posing because she is taking some time out again she's also in uh athleisure which for me also incorporates what i said earlier on the stretching the yoga but also taking time out to meditate and and just take some time out, right? Take some time out. Um, next to it is the productivity one that you saw in the previous vision board. I don't need to explain that one. The one below it is actually a, a smaller picture of a beautiful house. Um, for me, I personally love that design. And um, 
excuse me i personally love that design and i think about it quite a lot when i envision my dream house um and i know there's going to be a lot of changes happening to my life personally in the next year and two and then some so um i know i'm not going to be in this house forever and i know that i'm at some point going to be house hunting again so that i just want to always be at the back of my mind and um so th that's what i'm aspiring to with all the work that i'm going to be putting in this year and going forward that's what i'm aspiring to um below that is a picture of water I have a personal connection with water, especially with the underground gang and all of that. I love to be near water. And this one, this part of the vision board just essentially says, I want to be near water as much as I can this year. So even the little trips to your Durban or Cape Town or all of that um, is something that I'd like to do a little bit more of this day, this year and willing, God willing, God willing, I'll be able to do that. Um, next to it is of course the traveling and the maps because I do want to travel more than I did this year, uh, more than I did last year, this year. Um, above that, there is a, a writing on the right hand side that says I'm creating the life of my dreams. I'm speaking it into existence, I'm manifesting it, and um, I'm affirming it into my life. Above that is a straw hat with some um, clothes on there. Those clothes are typically my colors. Okay, you know I wear um, black a lot, but if you've been following my content over the last six months, of 2022 especially on my instagram i've been wearing a lot of white and i do want to incorporate browns as well into my wardrobe this year so i think about that image quite a lot actually quite a lot um and below uh that uh is a picture of a comb and a toothbrush and a brush soap that for me is just self-care and looking after myself always making sure I'm well groomed I feel better when I'm well groomed when my hair is well done when my face looks great I'm um, not with makeup on but just when my skin looks great when my skin feels great and my hands are done so for me grooming is a very essential and important part of my life and days that makes me feel good about myself so grooming is very very important for me and attached to that picture is i'm channeling happiness strength and love every day happiness strength love prosperity and success every single day um, below on the left hand side of the self-care picture is of course another charcuterie board because who am i if i am not a charcuterie board who am i i don't know who i am so um these are this is my um taking time to spend with others spend with people spend with friends spend with family over good food chats conversation um and, and just um, living in the moment but also forgetting not to spend too much time alone but just to be out um, enjoying with friends and family whether it be at home or whether it be out and about on the streets of course on the left of that is the writing which is abundance love prosperity renewal and transformation as i have explained um, below that is a book of course i read i read to relax i read to escape i read to learn i read to heal grow and work on myself as well um, as a human being just work on myself being better being more confident being more um, relatable i actually do that and i use books for that as well so um on the right hand side of that is of course a glass of water because who i am <laughs> Who I am because who am I without my water so that's by the time that one is finished today I'll have clocked four liters of water so 
always reminding me that drink your water and I connect with water. So maybe that's why I love water so much. I don't know. Um, above that, it says I am abundantly blessed and I will continue to be abundantly blessed. Absolutely. Absolutely. On the right of that is the journaling one, which I've explained in the previous vision board. Below that is my piggy bank. This is going to be the year where I am going to be saving more than I am going to be spending. And I am channeling this and i am calling it and speaking it into existence i will save more than i spend and i'm looking to be spending quite a large amount of money to the tune of around five thousand rand a month and i'm hoping that i can achieve that if i can't even if i can put in two and a half away that month whatever it may be it's fine um life happens um, unexpected expenses also happen. So I totally understand that. And I, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm down with that. Um, and then next to that, of course, is somewhere that looks like you're in the heart of Morocco or you're in the heart of an Arabic country. So traveling for me, but not only that, it's just aesthetically pleasing. And um, one of the countries that I was discussing going to this year with my sister is Dubai. Um, so when I saw this image, I instantly thought of the arcs and the architectural design. And I thought this, this has a very Arabic feel to it whether it be um islam whether it's morocco dubai it, it doesn't necessarily matter but it's got a very arabic feel to it and i remember discussing um this having a similar conversation with my sister earlier on in the latter part of last year um and of course the writing be above that is self-care is me, me remembering to look after me. And then above that is, of course, a picture of the cross. As you know, I am Catholic. I'm very much religious and I'm strong in my faith. And one of the things that I want to do a lot more of this year is to be strong in my faith and continue to be strong in my faith. So for me, that is very, 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 very important. And um, I choose to allow this year to be the year that God works through me, for me and uh, within me. And I want this to remind me of that as, as me being a um, walking product of, um, you know, my higher power of God, right? And above that is a 50K. A 50K, I'm hoping that I can get to 50K by the end of this year on YouTube and maybe even 30, 40K on Instagram. But that's, that's going to be a hard road to travel. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Above that, <clears throat> is a camera as you can see an editing software in the back as well this is a homage really to my youtube social media um instagram tiktok all of that space for me and um i loved that image and i i couldn't do without it and then on the left of that i'm sorry my voice is, is it's going now because i'm i'm healing from the flu um and on the left of that is just a beautiful beautiful um centerpiece of a what do they call these um there's a name for it i can't think of it right now i'll put it somewhere below here <sighs> i always sit on top of them at work Anyway, it's a beautiful piece, which just reminds me that there's certain things that I would like to change up in the house this year, more so in my bedroom and in the lounge space where I sit. And um, if I can do it, then I can. If I can't, I can't. It won't come at the expense of me dipping into my savings. If I can, if work comes in, um, you know, potentially when work comes in, the campaigns, the extra work, um, getting my life coaching business off the ground as well this year. When work comes in, if money, when money comes in, if money, I am money. I am a product of money and I am money. When money comes in, I can be able to do those changes. So that's what I love about this vision board. Of course, at the bottom right is the grass. Again, the homage to nature and remembering to always go back to nature. Um, 
and uh, stillness. I think for some reason, I see stillness as that, that image there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my two vision boards for the year. The, the one that is by far my favorite is definitely the second one. I did them with, uh, pi not Pinterest. Um, <laughs> Pinterest, Canva. I used Canva for this one and um, both of them and I love them so much. Um, I prefer digital vision boards as opposed to actively doing one and cutting out papers and all of that. I just don't have time for that. However, I have time to sit and look at my laptop every day. I knew I had time to do a vision board. So yeah, to the year of growth, transformation, and renewal for me, these are my um, dreams goals intentions for 2023 and then forward of course the house i don't know about 2023 but um and, and going forward and i'd love to know if you've done a vision board do you intend on doing a vision board um if you don't why not i'd love to know tell me let me know aside from that that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, thank you so, so much. As always, thank you for choosing me over and over again. I'm going to go now and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.